Hello everyone, this is Kathy at Attic Treasures Etc. And welcome back to my channel. And welcome back to Make Ahead Monday again. It's already been another week. So when I was thinking about what I wanted to do uh, for Make Ahead Monday, I asked myself, what am I out of and what do I wish I had more of? And the answer instantly was altered paper clips. So I had a bunch at one time and I've gone through all of them and used them up. So I thought this would be a really great time to make some more. So I have four examples here. The first two are made from upholstery fabric samples. Um, I scored a whole bunch of books of these uh, last summer at a garage sale. And I thought that this would be a fun way to use it. So there's just some scraps of lace. They're sewn a little bit. Um, they don't need to be, they can just be glued but um, they just have some bling and some random pieces on it. So I really like the way these turned out. And then I have another one here that is a scrap of music page that I had lying around. I have some liquid pearls on it, which I've already smushed. So um, there's that. But then just um, I've had this little scrap of a doily cut out that I've had forever. And then um, a little flower from a little flower book that I have. And then this final one is from the wallpaper sample books that I got a few weeks ago. And in this one, I put a little pocket. Here's a little envelope that opens up with a little word inside. And then I just used some uh, washi tape to cover up the, the little pieces of the brad there that I used to kind of help close it up. And then because the world never has enough butterflies, there's a little butterfly embellishment on there that I fussy cut. So I thought this one was really fun to make too. This one has a bigger paper clip. So what I brought, I'm gonna sit down now and hopefully stay in frame. So what I brought along to play with, put these aside over here. What I brought along to play with is some, some paper clips, two jumbo paper clips and one super jumbo paper clip. This is the big uh, three inch size and then these are these are about two inches. And I went ahead and I I curled these with uh, some needle nose pliers that have the round jaws on them. Let me show you those real quick. So these you can see have flat jaws on them but these have the round ones. And so that makes it easier when you're grabbing the end of the paper clip to curl it around these jaws. And then that's how you get that little rounded shape there. And I just didn't want to bore you with that, with doing that. So I did those ahead of time. So here I have some wallpaper samples that um, I thought I would try to work with. And I have an upholstery fabric sample it's kind of in a rose color and it's real soft. The other ones that I used are pretty stiff. And then I have a book page that I thought would be fun to work with. So let's go ahead and start with the um, wallpaper one. So what you wanna do is just kind of fit that inside there like that. Can you see my in frame? Okay, good. And it can be a little bit wider than what I have here, but this is good for now. But you wanna have the short, you, you wanna wrap this around the, the long part on the bottom, not the short part, because this is what is going to go onto a book page or a journal page like that. Okay, so here we go. So what I'm gonna do first is, before I even do this, is I'm going to put the, the bottom of it through my little doily edge, lace edge maker thingy punch. So this is another garage sale item. Okay, so sometimes you get that little, that little piece there, but that's okay. What I usually do is I just cut that off and then I just sort of take the end and round it off like that. And then get rid of whatever's left here. Get that out of the way. 
All right, so the next step then is to go ahead and put this on like so. Thread that through. Now I, I am going to sew on here, but the first thing I want to do is just give it a chance to stay in place so I'm not fighting with the sewing machine. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue kind of in the center here. Stuff can be kind of slippery. There we go. So I'm going to brown that a little bit more. A little bit more on this side. It doesn't have to be perfect because we live in an art world. Nothing's perfect. Things are just pretty. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew it right along here. What I do on my machine, I have an option to set my needle either to the left or the center or the right. So I set it all the way to the left and then I run the presser foot right alongside, you know, so that this is just on the edge of the presser foot. So I don't go over the over the metal of the paper clip at all. But I can't bring my camera over there the way it's set up, so I'm just gonna go off camera and do that. Okay, so I've sewn it along here, and now I can start embellishing it. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to ink around the edges, and I brought along this uh, Distress Ink. It's Fired Brick. So I'm gonna go grab my little tool, grab my little foam holder. I didn't get it quite on there. But I want to bring out the uh, the pinks in here. So I'm going to, instead of using my usual vintage photo, I'm just going to go ahead and ink the edges with this fire brick and give it some little bit more life, a little bit more pizzazz. You can decorate both sides if you want to, of course. It's your world. And um, we do, we're the boss. We're the boss of our stuff, right? So uh, I just go ahead and I'm, in this project, I'm going to only do one side. All right, so the next thing I wanna do is I wanna take this little coordinating piece and make a little envelope out of it. So first of all, I'm gonna cut it, or excuse me, fold it in half and then just cut to almost to the corner there, like so. And I'm also going to round the corners a little bit just because I want to. This is a corner chomper. We are Memory Keepers corner chomper. It has a quarter inch radius and a half inch radius. So I like on little pieces like this, I like the quarter inch radius. So hopefully it won't give any trouble. Perfect. All right. So before I fold this up, I want to stamp in here and put a little word. So where's my little, there we go. And I'll, I just got this, uh, this little set of stamps today because Hobby Lobby was having a sale. So they are Bow Bunny. Here, let me take it out of the out of this thing so you can see it better. I'm not get so much glare. All right. So they are Bow Bunny Fanciful Flourishes stamp. And this isn't the only one that's on there. It's just the one I'm choosing to use for this particular piece. I'm gonna go ahead and ink it up. And I don't want that over there. Okay. There we go. Good enough. And a word. May I have a word, please? How about reflect? And I think I will ink this in the same color. That way, when this gets opened up by whoever is going to open it up, 
you'll be able to see a little surprise there. I have it stamped on both sides because this side didn't come out very well, so I stamped it on the other side. This is what I save book margins, book page margins for, is to uh, stamp little words on. Now I'm just going to fold it. Can you still see? Okay. Here, let me um, zoom in just a little bit. There we go. Now I find that the wallpaper, it doesn't really make a very tight fold, but I think that's gonna be okay for this project. Fold the top down. Straight. <laughs> as straight as I can get it anyway. And more inking. I'm going to ink the inside too because I just think that looks cool but not necessarily the back because nobody's going to see that it's going to be glued down now before I glue this all together I want to add the little closure so I took a little three quarter inch circle punch and cut out a couple of circles of the wallpaper but then I also had a piece of book page that I cut out as well just to give it a, a little bit of structure and I sandwiched it in, in between these two pieces. The only reason I'm inking both sides is because I might forget and do <laughs> and put them in the wrong side because <laughs> I've been known to do that. So I'm going to grab my my little tiny punch here and I'm going to punch a hole in this it doesn't have to be perfect and then I want to make sure I get it positioned so that I'm going to be able to tuck it under there okay so right about there in fact, I'm going to go ahead and glue that on right there, just sort of, just on the bottom. Just like that. This will help it to stay closed. Try to go through the same hole. Okay, there we go. Now I have brought along a little brad. Just to sort of decorate it up. And then I want to cover this up. So I'm going to do what I did with the same thing that I did with the other one. I'm going to put some washi tape there, but I'm not going to use the same one. Well, that one's too wide. Oh, that's a little bit narrower. No, I'll use this one. It's okay. It's my world. It's my party, and I can do what I want, right? There we go. Cut off the excess. Cut off the excess on this side. All right, now this will close and stay closed. The next thing I wanna do is glue it on here. 
but I'm only going to glue on three sides because I want this to be a little pocket. It's a tiny pocket, but sometimes we just have tiny things. Although I think, I think I discovered when I did the other one, the arc glitter glue didn't work very well, but that was a different wallpaper sample book. So maybe it'll work okay on this one. If not, there's always Fabri-Tac. Okay, so we'll, nope, not sticking. That was my fault. It's too um, slick of a surface, but Fabri-Tac worked really well. So we'll just, go ahead and do that. Just on the edges, three sides. Oh, I might as well leave that off because I'm going to use it again really soon, but I kind of need the pin for my our glitter glue. Right, now, I would like to put a little bit of lace or something here on the top, and I happen to have a little bit of lace here. And I, I really, I really like this little, this little glittery piece. It, it's not really glitter, it's um, sequins sequins and beads and I just think it's super cute so little bead of glue along the stitching stretch this guy out try to get the shiny side up I don't need that little piece of fuzz <laughs> yeah, all right. So let that dry for just a second and then we'll cut off the excess. In the meantime, I have a super cute little butterfly that I chose. And it's just too cute. So I think I kind of want it a little bit out of the way so I can put something in the pocket so I don't need all this stuff underneath well okay I've had these little butterflies forever and ever and um, this little guy just really wants a home so there we go he finally has a home now I need my fabric scissors to cut the excess off My cord just came undone. Hold on just a second. Don't want my phone to die. Okay, you know, you could, you could leave these sort of dangling and that would be okay. And I think I might leave this side because, because it's cute. And I like to leave the things that are cute. It gives it just a little extra something. And then to put in the little pocket, I have this little faux stamp. And just tuck that in there. Now, how cute is that? Seriously, really? Isn't that adorable? Can you see it? Let me pull it up a little bit more. Okay, and, and so quick, too. So you don't have to use wallpaper samples. I just happen to have a whole bunch, so I wanted to start using them in my projects. You, you, this would be great with scrapbook paper or you know any kind of paper. So let's do one with the um, with the wallpaper or with the upholstery sample next. Okay, we'll set this guy aside. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, so. Here's the upholstery fabric. I must be in a pink mood today. 
and this has paper on part of it and it has holes this is where it was on the rings um, so I don't really want the rings and then the edges are really stiff there's glue on them because actually these were in a book and then the pegs went through here but then I took them all out of the books and put them on rings to make it easier to go through them so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pinking shears and I'm going to cut this part off and I might be able to use it for a, another project at some point but because I don't want this fabric to fray and it looks like it really wants to that's why I'm using my pinking shears okay that'll be for another project and then I'm also going to cut here along this because I want that paper there to use as a pocket in a journal so I'm going to save that piece because it's nice and it's stiff and it'll make a great pocket now we're left with this piece so I'm going to use my paper clip as kind of a guide it's two inches and um, I'm going to cut it just shy of two inches I really like the color of this Now what I do, kind of line it up, and then I like it to be fairly even, so I'll just go ahead and um, give it a little trim, like so. Get that out of the way. All right. Same thing. I'm going to... Put this on my paper clip again with on the long i want to attach it to the long piece underneath like so and just like on the other one i'm going to go give this a little run through on my sewing machine but i'm gonna glue it together so it so it stabilizes And I really <laughs> need to fill this up again. All right, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I have sewn, this time I use a zigzag stitch and sewn right across the top there. And now I have some extra little pieces, just tiny little scraps that I can go ahead and add any way I want to because I'm the boss. I'm the boss of me. Nobody else is the boss of me. Okay, I kind of like that. So, we'll a little bead of glue. Here. A little bit of lace. A little bit of fabric trim. And it's starting to look like something. Go ahead and trim with my pinking shears again. Now, a friend of mine, um, I saw that she had a sweater that she was selling on OfferUp or like the, one of the Facebook marketing sites, and it's covered with these little flowers. And I told her, I said, I sent her a message. I said, I want that sweater. She goes, it'll never fit you. I said, it's not for me to wear because I instantly saw the potential in all those little flowers. So that, I, I just had to have it. So I have been cutting off flowers. And I also have some of this little bling. And it needs that right there. 
And this bling I got at the dollar store. And it has adhesive backing on it, which my other one that I got for the dollar store doesn't. But I don't really trust it. So I'm going to put it on. Should I put it on the bottom or should I put it up here? Maybe I'll put it up there. I'll put it up there. Okay, let's get this flower down. And when you're making these, especially with the fabric and the laces, you don't have to be limited to just, you know, going across or up and down or anything like that. I mean, with this one, let me stand up here. There we go. Sorry about that. This has several little layers. Has some uh, some of the scrappy lace and some dotted Swiss, a little piece of lace here. And because lace has holes in it, I thought it needed this key. Oh, I keep going out of frame, you guys. I'm so sorry. Here we go. So see all these layers? And then I sewed some lace in the bottom. So you don't have to be limited to which way you put anything together with these little projects. And I'm going to peel the backing off of this. Hopefully it comes right off. Okay, that did. And that there's like no sticky on there. So we'll just give it a little bit of Fabri-Tac here. And it just does not want to come out today. Let's put this right here. Because I still want to see that gingham. I don't want to hide it. There. Can you see? How cute is that? I love it. I think it's adorable. Okay, two down. Now, let's take the one out of the book page. The first thing I think I want to do is trim off the margins. So I'm going to grab my little trimmer. Let's move this over here. I don't know why that has two blades on it, but it does. And so I just go with it. I don't even know where this trimmer came from. So, now that I've trimmed it off, how wide do I want it? Well, I don't want it any more than two inches, do I? So, let's see. paper clip and it might want to be trimmed just a to just a touch more okay that's a that's a good fit it's not too tight and how long do I want how long you want it or how long you leave it is totally up to you you can leave it super long or I'm thinking maybe about like so. Oh, except look at that. It says Armenia. That's all right. I'll cover it up. And I have these, these cute deckle scissors that came from somewhere. I don't know where, but I like them for this stuff like stuff like this because it looks like I tore it. dropping stuff on the floor. All right, so same thing. Let's go ahead and glue it. It'd be nice if I glued it somewhat straight. And that, it's just like basting. You know, I'm just basically holding it in place. And 
I'm going to go ahead and sew right, right across the top there. Be right back. All right, I'm back, and I've just sewn across the top there. And now we can just start to embellish it. I think I will ink the edges. This in, yeah, I guess I'll just use that same. Uh, the fired brick. I like that color. It's one of my favorite colors of the distress inks. There. Yes. Should I put, okay, that's too big. I have this little book. That's uh, the Golden Guide to Flowers, and I found this at a thrift store, of course. That's where I find all my books. But I like it for projects like this because it's fairly matte. It's not super glossy or anything. And the flowers are proportional in most cases to using with a tiny little project like this. So I'm going to grab one of these flowers out of here. Um, you don't have to take the whole flower. And I kind of like this one. So I don't want to ruin, wow. <laughs> I don't want to ruin this other flower's opportunity. So I'm just going to kind of cut around like so. And I know it's not going to be, it's going to be too tall to take those big leaves, so that part can be cut off. So this one, could, the bottom one can be cut off too. All right, so we'll just go ahead and do a real quick fussy cut. We know that that bottom one can't stay on there, but it might be good for something else. So it's not going to die. It'll just get set aside. I'm going to go ahead and glue this on and then maybe we'll add a word to it to give it a little bit more pizzazz and I'm not worried about the white spaces on here. Glue off my mat. a couple of words here already cut out. Well, actually, I have a whole bunch of words, but where'd they go? Oh, here we are. So I have all these words that I've cut out, and um, I think I would like to use the word Pure? No, always. Let's do always. I'm going to cut around it with these little ripple scissors. And we'll 
will glue this to the bottom. Like so. And then because I think it needs a little something up here, we'll just grab a little bit more of this. Oh, that instantly brightens it up. This is why we save everything, right? Because everything has a place. And right now the place for this glue is all over my fingers. <laughs> Heavens to bring it right. Okay, you never know when serendipity is going to happen. And that's why we save these things, these little teeny itty bitty scraps of fabric. Look at that. Cute. Where's my scissors? I'm going to trim it on this side. And what do I want to do here? Do I want to leave it dangle? Yeah, why not? Why not? Let's leave it dangle. It'll dangle outside the page. That'll be cute. And maybe a little tiny bit of bling. I know I've got like one more little piece of bling in here somewhere. There it is. Just a little cute little green dot. And it needs to be right there. I also think it needs another little dangle. How about... Okay, that's too much. Maybe another tiny little key. So I have this tiny little seahorse here and it looks like a little flower. Open this jump ring. Although the jump ring seems to be fighting me. I don't know why. Hold it in place here. Am I making this harder than it needs to be? Yes. There we go. There. Perfect. Okay, so what did we come up with? We made three little altered paper clips in fairly short order. One out of wallpaper one out of upholstery fabric, and one out of a book page. So I hope you enjoyed this. These are so much fun to make, and you can make a whole bunch. So this is a, a great way to mass make and, and take, take advantage of your Make Ahead Monday. So I hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so and hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified of the next video. So I can't wait to see you next Monday and also Tuesday. So have a great day, everybody, and thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.